Hello and welcome to our Magura video workshop. In this video I will demonstrate how to mount our Magura MT disc brakes. As the Magura MT brakes feature a split clamp, you can either mount them on your handlebar by sliding them on when the grip is removed, or by taking the clamp off completely, leaving the grip in place. It is important to note that the carbolay clamp of the MT8 should always be mounted with a thicker flange on top and the thinner on the bottom. MT6 through 2 are equipped with aluminium clamps, clearly indicating orientation via arrows and the position of the logo. When mounting the brake lever, always tighten the upper clamp nut first to 3 Nm. After that, tighten the lower nut to the same torque, fixing the lever in the desired position. When mounting the rotor, take care to mount it in the correct direction indicated by the arrow. Before tightening the rotor bolts, rotate the disc clockwise. This way the disc centers properly on the bolts. Now tighten the bolts crosswise to finish the installation of the rotor. Take care to note that the MT8 is supplied with aluminium rotor bolts with a reduced tightening torque, as opposed to the steel bolts supplied with the MT2, 4 and 6. The same care concerning correct torque should be applied to the caliper bolts. To mount the caliper, simply set it onto the rotor, pull the lever to center the caliper on the rotor and tighten the bolt slightly. Now open the lever again and check for free rotation of the rotor. When the caliper position is correct, tighten the bolts to 6 Nm, holding the caliper in position by hand to prevent further movement. The MT brakes offer the possibility to rotate the hose fitting on the caliper to achieve optimal routing for the hose, regardless of mounting position. To adjust the angle of the hose, loosen the bolt about 30 degrees. Hold the bolt with a key and rotate the fitting into the desired position, retightening the bolt afterwards. It is not necessary to bleed the brake after this adjustment. The montage of your Magura MT disc brake is now finished. The procedure for shortening the hoses is shown in a separate video.